Hello everyone. Hope you all are healthy and doing well. So today in this video, I'm going to show how to make a presentation like SWOT analysis where you can showcase strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of your business, which will help your company to access internal factors that might affect your business such as strengths, weaknesses and external factors such as opportunities and threats. So without any further delay, let's get into the video quickly. So for creating this presentation, let me take a new presentation or rather say new blank presentation. And before we begin, let me tell you one thing that making this presentation is very, very easy and it also takes very less time to complete it. So the very first step to begin with this presentation is to set a background. So you can set a background whichever you want. Uh, either you can search it on the Google or you can first download and then insert the background over here. So for sake of this presentation, I have already downloaded a background. So let me go to insert picture and from this device, I'll choose this background one. Here you go. So one thing you might have noted that I have taken dark background. If you wish, you can take light background as well. But personally, I like dark backgrounds. So I took this photo. So the very next step is to make this image as a background. Currently, this is as an image or an object. So what we will do is we will right click on this image and click on copy. And once we copy the image, we will delete this. Right click on the slide, go to format background. And here we will select picture or texture fill. And there you have an option of clipboard. So we'll click on this and here you go. Your image which you copied is now set as a background. Now let us proceed with the next steps. And the next step is to insert a shape. So I will go to insert shape and I'll pick this one rounded square. And I will uniformly distribute this shape keeping the same distance across all the four sides. And in the shape we'll go to format shape and we will select no outline. and shape fill as white but this is totally opaque we want to make this object as semi transparent so we'll right click we will select format shape we will go to fill and here you have a transparency option so we can set transparency of this we we'll set it to 30 percent also there is one thing you can play with is the this yellow button so with this yellow button you can adjust the roundness of this uh, corners now before beginning with the next step uh, there is one quick tip so uh, if you want to make sure that this shape is exactly in the center of the slide so what you have to do is go to shape format there is an option called align and in align there are multiple options so you can select align center so it will come in the center and also you can align it in the middle so there is equal space among all the four sides of this object now the next step is to add a letter so what we will do is uh, we will go to insert text box and here i will say s and let me take this to side for a while and let us take font as times new roman and now the idea is to make this S as big as it fits this white object horizontally. So let me click this and make this size bigger as 400. So now in order to make this object white object hollow with respect to the shape S. So what we will do is we will first select the white square. Then we will select the letter by pressing shift. Then we will go to shape format and shape format there is a group called insert shapes where we have merge shape options so we'll click on that and we will subtract it so if we'll subtract you can observe that the letter s is being carved out from this object so now left hand side of the slide is ready now it's time to add some text on the right hand side so i've just copied some text in my clipboard so i'll paste paste it here so for s stands for strength so i've written strength over here and below this strengths you can add bullet points whatever the strengths of your team are i have added three points but in your case you might have four to five points so there is hardly uh, some space which is left in this uh, right hand side area 
but in my case we have some space so we can occupy that space by inserting a symbol so what i can do is i'll go to insert shape you can insert shape uh, if you like it from here or you can insert icons which are available online but for now let me just copy it from the clipboard so one of our slides are ready and in similar way you can make different slides for w o and t and there is one last step which we have to do so let me just go to the slide which i have prepared so after preparing all four slides what you will do is just go to slide number 1 select all by pressing control a go to transition and here you can find rotate transition in dynamic content so we'll select rotate and you can choose duration whatever you want i have chosen as 2 seconds and i'll click on apply to all so that rotate transition will apply to all the four number of slides and hence all of our slides are ready unless you don't want different background pictures for different slides so many of you might like that we have different we want different photo background in different slides but i personally prefer that i should have same background across all the four slides and yes congratulations you have completed preparing this slide so let us see together what we have prepared After watching this presentation from slideshow view it seems that making this presentation is quite hard but making this presentation by learning it from me it is very easy right guys <laughs> this is on the lighter side but yes there is appeal from our side that if you like this video and our content then please like this video subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and creating a content for youtube for you all is really quite challenging and time consuming So if you like this video and comment your reviews on the comment box it will really appreciate and motivate us for making new videos and expressing our new ideas to you that's all for this video till then goodbye